Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am going to be doing your October 23rd to October 29th weekly love reading. This is for the sign of Cancer. Now, this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre shuffled these decks, so I'm only going to shuffle them for a minute. zoom this in when I am done. Well, I think there's a lot of despair, okay? There's still a lot of despair in your life. It's like there's constant strife going on right now. It's in your head, but it's there, okay? So I'm just going to zoom that in like that. You know how I like to get it perfect and all. Anyway, um, I see that there's some mental strife, okay? That's what this week looks to be about. But it looks like you're working through it because I see some forgiveness and I see that you are starting to heal from a situation starting at the very beginning of the process, okay? Very, very beginning. You're very saddened over a loss, probably of another person, okay? You're saddened of a loss and you're starting to feel at peace, but like I said, barely, okay? So I feel like there's been some challenges, there's been some inner conflicts big time, and there's probably been some conflicts with another person, okay? There's been some disagreements. And I think that you have, because of that, you, there may, the communication could be cut off altogether at this point, okay? Or getting close to being cut off, communication. All right, but you know, it leads to healing and I and I think that many of you are, this is a week of um, another uh, node of healing to be, you know, sealed or something, you know, um, because if it just feels like you're, you, you may try to um, hide your hurt with some kind of addiction, okay? Just saying, you might. You might. You may have an obsession on another person. You may be, like, obsessed with them, feeling like, you know, this was the perfect one. I, I can't get over this. I can't. I don't think I can let go. I'll never be able to let go. I mean, you may be feeling that. But then you have this awakening that, you know what, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to get there. So it's like conflicting thoughts. That's what I said. There's con there is definitely some conflicting thoughts. This is the obsession, this is the obsession, and this is the awakening where you just start, start to change and you decide, okay, I'm going to work on healing. So, like I said, there's, there's definitely some conflicting thoughts where I don't think I can get over this. I, I don't think I can. You know, I, I, this is the one. I am, this is the one, you know. And then it's like, okay, I'm going to be all right. I can do this. I know that I can do this. I can do this. I can. Okay. It's just going to take a lot of work, hard work to do this, okay? I'm going to have to master my emotions in a very big way. I am going to have to bring back this structure to my life, and I'm obviously going to have to do it on my own, okay? So I think that that's what this week is about. It's, it's working through the conflicting thoughts because you're, you'd, you'd like to bury these thoughts up with some kind of form of escapism, you know, what those are. I don't even need to tell you what they are because you know what they are. You'd like to just escape from it, but, you know, it's there. It's conflicting. It's not going away. It comes and it goes. It comes and it goes, but it's there more than it's not, okay? But we have an opportunity for you to manifest something new, okay? Right here. We have an opportunity to manifest something new. Should you decide to try it, okay? If you don't, then, you know, you stay suffering in this pain, okay? You do. 
Um, so this is saying, hey, 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 be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for or be careful what you stay stuck in, you know. Because if you stay, the longer you stay stuck there, the stop longer you're stuck there. Get it? The longer you choose to be stuck there, the longer you're stuck there. And you're wasting time. You're wasting time. Okay? There's, there's other choices to be had. All right? And they, they will be secure. They will. Many of you, your home life could have changed recently. Or it is going to change because of the disagreements that are going on. Okay, I see that it's really bringing a lot of peace back to your life, whether you believe it or not. Okay, peace and harmony and healing and um, is coming back. All right, don't lose hope. Okay, try to forgive yourself for any mistakes that you have made. Try to forgive yourself for any regrets that you have. I was going to say this, I sit right about here, I almost said it, and then I, I just stopped. So, I'm going <sighs> to... So many, for many of you, okay, it looks like it's time to focus your energy in a new direction, okay? This is just a change of course, that's all it is. I see that new love could be coming in for many of you. Okay, if you're single, but you're still really hurt over a situation. So I know many of you are hurt, 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 hurt. Eights are about changes, and I feel the need to tell you that changes are on the horizon. They are. They are. I don't think it's with the same person that you're thinking about in your head. Okay? I think it's with somebody new from your past, could be, or even a past life. And I mean from your past, 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 past. And this doesn't mean that you may have dated in the past. This could be somebody you knew as a child or an acquaintance of an acquaintance as a child. Somebody that you met years ago and you never had anything but you, you flirted or something like that, you know. There was, a, there was a connection, but that was about it. That's what I see, okay. So, and I think it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Could be a, a water sign, because we have a lot of water energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have um, Aquarius as well, and we have Leo. I'm um, just looking around, and that's who we have so far. But I see that it leads to your ultimate wish, okay, which is love. It does, it does with happiness and a commitment and contentment, you know, beautiful, you have the ability to manifest that right now. And it all go goes with your thoughts because I see the conflicting thoughts. And this is focusing your energy in a different direction. Whatever you've been obsessed with below, with these two cards, you just need to go in the other direction, okay? Just go in the other direction. And you start going in the other direction by forgiving yourself and the other person, but mostly yourself, okay? You forgive yourself because we're all human and we all make mistakes. And just because it didn't work out wasn't anything you did. It just wasn't meant to be. This is also the karma card, okay? So this is an awakening. It's epiphany. It's forgiving. And it is the karma card, one of them, okay? So just take it up as that. That's what it was. Okay, but I do see that once you decide to focus your energy in another direction, this is the rods of love as well, and this is love, and this is love. I think that love, real love, could come into the picture, but to this week is about um, working on the conflicting thoughts, okay? You're ready to forgive. You're ready to heal because that's there. I see it. But you also still have the obsession, the addiction to somebody, okay? And so it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes. It's like, I can't get over this person. I don't know if I can or if I'll ever be able to trust again or if I re this was the one. I never will love like this again, blah, 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 blah. 
or it's the or and then you go to you know what I'm gonna move on I, I'm gonna move on I'm ready to move on I'm gonna start looking for somebody else okay it's time for me to admit it's time for me to admit that this didn't work out I'm gonna start looking for something somebody else but then deep down on the other side of your heart it says no 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 I, I, I still want this other one you know what I mean that's what this is so this that's the conflicting thoughts so I think this week because luckily they're over here okay and over here it looks very positive this week you start to give more of your thoughts towards the positive and when you do that you manifest it if you manifest this new love it will come and it will lead to a commitment okay it will Now, I'm thinking this must be for cancer singles. If it's for couples, um, it looks like there may be some strife. Okay, there may be some strife. There may be some conflicts. And you're being called to look in a different direction. You know, focus your energy from negative to positive. You have to focus your energy from negative to positive. All right. That's what's going to bring the happiness. You have the power to manifest love at this point, whether you're single or couple. You do. You do. And it can bring a lot of happiness and a strong commitment, a strong one, okay, where there's security and stability, okay? No kidding. I'm going to get you one of these cards, and I feel like it's the second one. I don't know what it says. Ooh, sense of humor. Interesting. Maybe you'll use that to get through it. You know, I said there's some form of, form of escapism. People usually hide their sadness with laughter. Sense of humor. My prayer. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. <laughs> That's the perfect card. I'm going to read it again. My prayer. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. Like I said, it's the power to manifest. There, This is a gift from God. Take it as that. Use it now. All right? Use it now. I was saying this is your power to manifest. Use it right now. That's the Ace of Pentacles. You have the power to manifest a new love quickly, as quick as you as quick as you manifest it. I mean, it's basically what the card says. Anyhow, and that's what I have. Cancer. Talk to you later.